Living Redefined on SAFS. Welcome back. It's 2.42. So while the country continues to grapple with increasing and concerning unemployment levels uh, impacted by various factors, one that has remained a huge contributing factor is the requirement of work experience, which has become a great barrier to employment. With this in mind, in efforts to assist the South African economy and job market improve collaborators, ekasi entrepreneurs and youth at work are looking for dedicated SMMEs and businesses that can be able to host youth graduates at their businesses for experiential learning for a period of 12 months. This program aims to not only empower graduates, but to also assist SMMEs in capacitating their teams. Let's talk more and find out with Erica Kempen, Director for Youth at Work. Erica, good afternoon. Thank you for your time. Tell us about how the concept of youth placement programs came about and what its main objectives are. Thank you. Thank you for having me and welcome to the listeners. Um, the Youth Employment Services has been around since the end of 2018 um, and we have been placing young people into workplaces that are really interested in growing, developing and mentoring young people to learn a new skill, to apply workplace knowledge and to be comfortable in the working environment. Mm. Um, uh, that- this program is... Yeah, it's funded by corporates, mm-hmm. um, and it really provides an opportunity for young people to get a foot in the door. Mm, to, to get a foot in get the door. Business, get a foot in the door. Because it is a challenge. They get constantly told, mm. so what's your work experience? Mm. And even if they're qualified, without that work experience, it ends up being a sort of impediment for them to get any type of experience. So with this program, though, what I'm finding is you seem to be more focused on the rural areas. Why is that? And which areas are you currently targeting? Uh, we actually are in rural and urban areas. Mm-hmm. Um, we have got a program at the moment which we're recruiting for host organizations as well as young people in Limpopo. That is the Tabazimbi, Amandabult area, northern Polokwane and Makopane. Um, so any companies, SMMEs who would like to host young people and who really have got the time, have got the infrastructure, have got availability to take them on board, they can apply to us. Um, and alternatively, we also have quite a lot of uh, placements in town, you know, whether that be Gauteng, Durban area, East London, or the Western Cape. Yeah. And then what are the benefits for the companies and the SMMEs that uh, do uh, take part, that come on board, I mean? The companies have got the benefit of having a young graduate or person who's just eager to learn and work in their com- in their company without having to pay their salaries. So they really have to provide the, the in-kind payment, which is really seeing that there is a job description, that they've got a quality work experience, that they are learning every day, that they are applying the knowledge and skills, mm-hmm. um, and that that young person really develops and has skills that they can transfer. Because the important thing is not only getting the foot in the door, but remaining in the workplace. Yeah. So yeah. our key intention is not to run a one-year program, but to have that one-year program as a stepping stone for the future. Yeah, and a yeah. stepping stone to remain employed, you know, to remain employed or remain in some form of employment beyond the funding. Beyond the one-year period. So let's talk about how the the same companies and the SMMEs uh, can take part. If they're listening and it's an initiative they've never heard of, how do they sort of uh, get involved and and, and take part in it? Great. I mean, we do have an email address, which is smme at saeyouthatwork.com. They can also go onto our website, which is SA Youth at Work, and apply there through the email address that is there. Or they can get in touch with ECASI if they are familiar with ECASI Entrepreneurs and say that they've you heard about it via the radio, and we will get in touch with those companies. There is a vetting requirement. Yes, I wanted to ask to... that about the, <laughs> what the process of the vetting uh, uh, looks like and, and how you know the SMMEs prepare themselves before they even apply to you. You really have to 
be set up so that you can host the young person. So if somebody is coming to support you in office administration, you have to have the basics. The, the company should be registered. They should be up and running and working. They have to be providing a desk, a computer, in, you know, Wi-Fi, all those basics, so that the young person can do work. Mm. Um, if you're working in under industries, you might be in the farming industry, then you have to be able to provide the uniforms and the tools and everything else for that young person to gain a quality experience in that field. Mm. So you need to be in a uh, – also you have to have a supervisor, someone who really needs to check in on a daily basis to see that the person is there on time, that they know what they're doing, that they increase their workload as they learn, as they adapt to the working environment, so that they become employable. You know, I mean, people often have just not got an experience and therefore they consider being un unemployable. But with close mentoring, close support, they really gain transferable skills afterwards. And the very important thing is that we do need those host employers to have the end in mind. They must be able to work into employment for that young person. If they really are not able to take them on in a permanent contract after the 12 months, then they've got a network. Mm. Because the barrier to employment is not only experience, it is also network. Mm. And what employers have got is a network and say, okay, I can't employ you, but my supplier has got a job for you. Or let me introduce you to other business partners who might be able to facilitate a, a, a job. And so we're relying on the businesses to really support those young people to remain employed in their network. Yeah. Uh, you know, is there for a sort of stipend uh, for the 12-year period? Mm -hmm. uh, because you did em emphasize that companies don't have to pay uh, the young people that do get involved. Mm -hmm. But do you yourselves give them a sort of stipend? Uh, because people can say, well, I don't even have money to get there every day. No, 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 of course. Mm -hmm. Everybody gets paid the minimum wage. Mm -hmm. Currently, the minimum wage is 4,020 rand per month. Mm -hmm. And then there's you know, UIF and, and SPL and so deduction. Mm -hmm. um, but it is advisable that young people who apply or companies who recruit young people, that they look at what is the traveling distance. Yeah. Where does that person live and where do they work? Because a lot of the barriers to employment are transportation. Mm. It's very expensive. It's time consuming. It's difficult on the roads when you're spending hours in the traffic. So make sure that you live close to your working environment, that you can afford to go to work, that you don't not go to work because because you don't have the money to go, that you really can afford to go every day and that you are at work every single day. Yeah. So it is a normal, everyone gets signed up on a normal contract of employment, which has got 15 leave days a year and the normal um, labor law compliances with sick leave and so on. Mm -hmm. And we rigidly enforce that so that we really practice this thing called work. <laughs> yeah. La la lastly, Erica, because I asked about how SMMEs and companies can get involved. I mean, if a mm. young person is listening and thinking, I'd love to be part of this, mm. is there a way that they themselves can directly get in touch with yourselves uh, to be put maybe on a database? Absolutely. Absolutely. All the young people listening or the parents who need their children to be in an employment program, there is a website called SA Youth Moby. Fantastic. We'll leave it here and thank you so much for your time, Erica. Thank you. We'd thank love you. to hear from everybody. Please get in touch with us. Absolutely. Erica Kempen, Director for Youth at Work. It's www.sayouththatwork.com. It's 2.51. We come back and have that conversation with the, the Penn South African Language Board.